I want to give a special shout out to all my patrons first. Thank you so much to my Biblio Spren, Biblio Howlers, and my Biblio Mansers. It means a lot to me that you give me your extra support for my passion and hobby. Hi everyone, uh, Patek here. Uh, today's video will be about all the books that I want to read in the month of July because we are nearing the end of the month of June. That means we are nearing the end of the second of the first half of this year. And I know that sounds crazy. Time really flies when you are reading. I always say that and it is true. And you know what? There's something about this year that is becoming a trend within my channel and it is that I always fail getting to read all the books that I want to read within each month. Everything that I mentioned in my TBR pal, I used to be able to get through them all within a single month, but not this year. It seems like my reading fluctuates, my life keeps getting busier, but you know what? I still want to read as many books as I can uh, within each month. And with that in mind, you will see some titles that I have already mentioned in my June TBR video, and I will mention them again in my July TBR video. So let's start with the first one. Thanks to my patrons, uh, this is the book that I'm reading right now, but I have a feeling this will carry over to the month of July because this book is 400,000 words long. This is Pillars of the Earth by Ken Follett. I was in a dilemma before the end of the month, I still want to attempt reading one book, so I asked my patrons or on my Discord server, I asked them, uh, which one should I read first? Uh, Pillars of the Earth or Empire of Grass by Ted Williams. And the votes goes to Pillars of the Earth. So thank you for solving my dilemma. So I'm going to be reading this one. I'm not sure whether I will be able to finish this in the month of June or not, but if not, this will be carried over to the month of July. But as I said in my June TBR video, I heard nothing but amazing things about Pillars of the Earth. And after I record this video, I will start reading this book, assuming that I can stop playing Elden Ring because that game is really taking a lot of my free time lately. But anyway, I still want to read books as well. Uh, the next one is of course Empire of Grass. This will be the first book that I tackle uh, in the month of July. This is the second book in the Last King of Boston Art Series by Tad Williams. If you follow me on, on Twitter, you might have seen that I luckily received an advanced reading copy of The Navigator's Children, which is the fourth and the final book in the Austin Art Saga series, or in the Last King of Austin Art series, which is the sequel series uh, to the Memory, Sorrow, and Thorn series by Tad Williams, one of my favorite trilogies of all time. And I love The Witchwood Crown. I already want to go back to reading Tad Williams' writing again, especially after the cliffhanger ending in The Witchwood Crown, and I expect Empire of Grass to be even better than The Witchwood Crown. And uh, I always have to say this because this is one of my favorite cover art in fantasy. Michael Wellen did such an amazing job with this cover art and it is such a pity that he's not back to illustrate the cover art of the third and also the fourth book, uh, Into the Narrow Dark and also uh, The Navigator's Children. It is such a shame, really. But anyway, I am still very pumped about reading uh, this book, Empire of Grass. Moving on to the next book that I want to read uh, in the month of July. I'm not sure whether this is epic fantasy or just high fantasy, but I think this is, at the very least, it is high fantasy. So this is Mask of Mirrors by M.A. Carrick. And for those of you who don't know, M.A. Carrick is made of two authors, Mary Brennan and also, I think, Alec Helms. I think that's the name, but uh, this duo, they made up M.A. Carrick. And I heard a lot of great things about Mask of Mirrors. I think if you have been following my channel, you know that I'm in the middle of reading Memoirs of Lady Trent uh, as well. But because I feel, well, I liked it. I like Memoirs of Lady Trent, but I just want to try before I go back to Memoirs of Lady Trent. I want to try reading Mask of Mirrors or the Rook and Rose trilogy and see whether this one will suit my taste uh, more than Memoirs of Lady Trent. But people have told me that there are some vibes about a Rook and Rose trilogy that reminded them of reading The Lies of Locke Lamora, which I think bodes really well for me because I love The Lies of Locke Lamora and also I love heist fantasy uh, novel or trilogy. So yeah, I look forward to reading The Mask of Mirrors. And those are for the epic fantasy books that I want to read uh, in the month of July. But the next one, this is for an Irish historical epic fantasy, I think. Irish historical fantasy. And this is Children of Gods and Fighting Men by Shona Lawless. The third book in the trilogy is 
going to be published in the month of September, if I'm not mistaken. And well, I heard so many amazing things about this trilogy. I don't think I'm very well versed in Irish uh, history or Irish mythology, but mythologies around the world have always been some of my favorite categories and also some of my favorite topics to learn about, especially when they're included in fantasy genre as well. Uh, such as the Pattern of Trilogy by Dirk Ashton. That trilogy included so many mythologies around the world, including Irish, and also many other cultures into the trilogy, and I loved it. And well, I heard from my patrons and also many other readers that this is a very character-driven story, and I look forward to finding out whether the Children of Gods and Fighting Man and the remaining two books in the trilogy will be for me or not. But moving on to the next one, actually there is still one more epic fantasy book that I want to read, and it is... Uh, the Crossroads of Twilight by Robert Jordan. Now, I talked about this in my previous June TBR video, and I couldn't get around to reading Crossroads of Twilight uh, in the month of June because I attempted reading this together with Curse of the Misread by Johnny Woods. And I'm telling you, it is not a good idea to be reading Curse of the Misread and also Crossroads of Twilight together. It is simply not. It basically stopped me from progressing both of my books. <laughs> so yeah, Curse of the Mystery it required a lot of concentration. Crossroads of Twilight, on the other hand, is just mega boring so far. So yeah, I couldn't get around to really reading Crossroads of Twilight in the month of June. I will try reading it again in the month of July, but I, I make no promises that I will be able to finish it in the month of July. I really want to though because, well, I'm close. I'm close to the end of the slog of the Wheel of Time. I cannot wait to read uh, The Knife of Dreams and the remaining books uh, in the Wheel of Time series. I'm really close uh, to the end here, so wish me luck, that's all I can say. But other than these epic fantasy books, I want to also read other genre, and of course I plan to read this amazing book. Well, amazing sounding book, because this is The Mercy of Gods by James S. A. Corey. Yeah. This is the newest book by James Corey, the duo behind The Expanse, and I hope this book, The Mercy of Gods, is the first book in the Captives, Captives War, the, in the Captives War trilogy. I hope that this one will be as good as The Expanse or Mel. Keeping my fingers crossed, maybe it is even better than The Expanse, but I had a great time reading The Expanse or anything by Daniel Abraham, really. I think his, his fantasy books in particular are very much underrated in the genre, but yeah, I am pumped about this and I want to say thank you so much to Orbit Books for sending me this advanced reading copy of The Mercy uh, of Gods. And also, I just want to make it clear that even though this TBR sounds ambitious, as I said in the beginning of this video, there is no way I will be able to read them all in the month of July. This is just my plan uh, based on my reading mood at the moment. And with that in mind, I still have uh, two more books that maybe I will try to tackle in the month of July. And those two, the first one is Harold, Harold by Rob J. Hayes. I talked about this in my previous June TBR video, as I said, and the same situation applies here. I'm waiting for the physical copy to arrive before I tackle uh, Harold. But for Demon and Deathless, the, the other two books in the God Eater Saga, the other first book of the other series in the God Eater Saga, it is such a mouthful to talk about the God Eater Saga sometimes, but yeah, uh, Demon and Deathless, both of them were amazing and well, it seems like Harold would be the best one of them all. So I'm, I really hope that this, one of these books, maybe Empire of Grass or any of the fantasy books that I mentioned will become my first five stars fantasy book of the year. Yeah, I'm not joking. As it turns out, after I checked my statistics, I haven't gave any new uh, any new fantasy book that I tackled this year a full five out of five stars rating. It is a bad reading year for me. <laughs> Even though I had a great time reading this year, I still haven't found a new addition to my list of favorite fantasy books uh, this year. And well, that's really pretty much all the books, all the novels that I want to read in the month of July that I plan to. And then there is one novella that I heard great things about. This is uh, Sister Samurai by Tatiana Obey. I love Samurai Champloo, I love anime, and well, I love Afro Samurai, and this book supposedly is inspired by all of them. And yeah, it is thin, but Rob J. Hayes, the author behind Harold, also recommended a Sister Samurai very highly. Uh, I think he said that this one has a very distinct narration voice, and that's almost always a plus uh, for my reading experience. So those are the eight titles that I really 
hope I can get to read in the month of July. Seven novels and also one novella. For manga, there is only one manga series that I'm reading right now. And well, I just started reading this about three days ago and I'm kind of obsessed with this. It is so fun, bizarre, and also hilarious, sometimes devastatingly emotional. And this is done the done. Yeah, there is an anime adaptation coming for this one. And because I have seen some beautiful, beautifully drawn illustrations of the book, uh, of the series uh, around the internet for quite a while, I thought I might as well give this a try. And you know what? It, it's really good, even though, as I said, it's incredibly bizarre and sometimes over the top but I cannot help but continue reading. It is basically a story about a boy who... It is basically a, sto it is basically a story about a boy who is obsessed with aliens and also a girl who is obsessed with spirits. And both of them, they don't believe the existence of one another. The boy doesn't believe the existence of spirits and the girl doesn't believe the existence of aliens. So they try to convince each other that these exist by trading places in a place where aliens or spirits most likely uh, will appear and well things unfold from there absolutely insane and yeah it's really good it's really good i think i'm about six volumes into this and i will continue reading it uh for sure but yeah that's all the books and also manga series that i plan to read in the month of july again as i mentioned i don't think i'll be able to read through them all but these are in my reading schedule i really hope one of these will earn a full five out of five stars rating uh from me i really hope so i received some comments why i haven't posted a lot of reviews on my youtube channel that's because personally speaking i prefer posting on my youtube channel anyway i prefer posting a positive review rather than a negative review because i post my negative review on my goodreads and also on my blog novel notions and i don't think we need to post every negative reviews on every social media <laughs> that's my opinion anyway but yeah that's why i haven't posted a lot of reviews on my youtube channel uh lately and i think that's really pretty much it for me today do let me know uh, what you think about uh, the books that I plan to read in the month of July. And of course, let me know uh, what books you plan to read next month. As always, thank you so much for watching and thank you for your support. Bye-bye. Lastly, I want to say thank you so much once again to all my patrons who keep on supporting me.